Welcome to our continuing series on troubleshooting digital sentry. In today's video, we're going to tackle adding cameras. Now we're going to hop right into DS Quick Setup, which is the preferred method for adding cameras on a digital sentry system. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select the default values for everything leading up to our camera selection screen. So now that we're here, we're going to take a quick look at the anatomy of this screen. We've got record, PTZ, IP address, model, the channel, the name, and the firmware version. Now one of the things we can do to start testing this, if you notice you do have a camera that does not display a picture, you can click on that camera, right click, and select open in browser. This is a good, simple, and basic troubleshooting step just to make sure that you can reach the camera. Now if we couldn't reach the camera here like we did this one, then that would be an indication there is likely a problem with either IP addressing on the camera, IP addressing on the digital sentry system itself, or maybe even the camera is locked up and needs to be rebooted. So going to the web page helps us eliminate all those as possible causes of no video. So with camera discovery aside, let's say we do not see the camera listed in this list or it exists on another subnet, but that subnet still is on the local LAN. Well, to add that camera directly, we'd click the add camera button, we'd type in the IP address, and then select the manufacturer. Now let's take a look before we continue on at where the cursor is now, license is used. Another common issue with adding cameras to digital sentry is exceeding the license count. When we are adding cameras, either be it through DS Quick Setup or DS Admin, we want to make sure that we are always using the correct amount of cameras for the licenses available. With the camera now available in DS Quick Setup, we can go ahead and check mark record and continue on with the Quick Setup process. So now DS Quick Setup is successful. We finished. We're going to go ahead and click next and run DS Control Point right off the bat. Now the next thing we're going to talk about, sometimes this happens. If we take a look at our Control Point screen on the left hand side, we can see we have several cameras with slashes through them. Now this does not mean the cameras were not added correctly. What happens is this is all based on the current network speed. The more cameras, the larger the network, the higher the bandwidth, the longer it takes them to come up after the services have been rebooted. The only thing we can really do here is wait for them to populate. Again, depending on the amount of cameras, this can be a lengthy process. With our final camera now up, the system is fully functional and recording. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.